good guys what's going on what's good what's up what's up well anyway check this out check this out i am coming to you today with another video you know what i'm saying a lot of lot of lot of things happened this week man it is it is so crazy with me leaving jnr shrugel with me making the video about jnr shrugel with me with what the fiery crash on i-70 and in, in denver colorado man let's talk about it all you have to do is stay a minute just take your time the clock is ticking so stay all you have to do is stay let's let's talk y'all what's going on i know y'all miss me i'm back again with my uh with my uh, home shirt. Well, this topic right quick, so much stuff that's went on. So let's start, let's start with me leaving JNR Schwugel last week. I made a live video about, uh, about the new company that I'm going to. I'm not gonna talk about the company that I'm going to um, after I made the live feed. So if you guys didn't catch that, y'all can catch it, it's called uh, changes are coming and y'all can go ahead and peep out y'all can see what company that I'm going to um, and yeah y'all can see that but as far as going on uh, about the company I'm not going to talk about the company in my YouTube so some of the people that may think that uh, that I may have some ill things to say about JNR Schwugel that is far from the point. And the company that I'm going to is, uh, uh, I, I don't know if it's a good company yet. I really don't. I don't know. I, I just know what they offer me. It was a good, it was a good offering. I couldn't turn it down. I had to at least go for it, right? I mean, you gotta, you gotta grow in this, in this game. You know what I'm saying? Rather you coming in this game as a company driver, jumping from a company driver to owner op, or just coming into this game just to grow, see what it's about, and then use the knowledge that you know from it to something else. You know what I'm saying? Now, don't get me wrong. I did mention plenty of times that, yeah, I don't have no aspirations of owning my own truck. <sighs> just, just too much too much in owning my own truck you know what i'm saying um some people do have aspirations of of owning their own trucks and then from there they'll jump to like fleet owners and then from there just widen it out and that's aspirations for you i'm proud of you go for it i'm still here for you guys i'm still going to come with different topics my youtube channel is going to always remain the same it's going to be a mixture of of whatever you know what i'm saying you know this truck driver right here is going to come at you with with whatever that's on his mind so i just need you guys to help me continue to grow this channel you know there's a little bit of something for everybody in this channel let's talk about the video that I made, the JNR Shugel uh, lease video that I made. Well, of course, you guys know from that video, I I got uh, I, I made a reaction from Mark at Trucking Answers. He did a video. Uh, actually, he changed the name of the video to "What to Consider About JNR Shugel." As as a faithful follower of his channel. We really know what that in terms is. I rode for JNR Schwugel. I, I rode for JNR Schwugel for almost two years. You know what I'm saying? The company was good to me. I said the company was good to me, but I also said that the company wasn't perfect either. You know what I'm saying? So the information that he got uh, pertaining to their lease purchase program. I do agree with them that if you decide to become a millionaire in trucking, do you really think 96 cent per mile is gonna actually get you there? You see what I'm saying? 
is it going to get you there? Think about, it. just think about if you decide to get into lease purchase with any company, you gotta make sure that the numbers is right for you. I'm not a fan of lease purchase. I, I figured this much, if I want to own a truck, I think I will just save my money up and go and lease a truck from a, a trucking dealership rather than leasing a truck from a company standpoint. If you lease a truck, now understand this, all right? You're still up under the company's guidelines as far as purchasing their truck. So if you get the truck and it's a, it's a drive camera in there, well, you, you can't take it out because you're purchasing, you're lease purchasing from the company. You can choose your lows because they're gonna throw that at you. They're gonna be like, yeah, you can choose your own lows and you can do this and you can do that. But realize that, you know, when choosing your lows, if you turn down a lot of them, what you think gonna happen? They're not going to give you the prime lows because you're turning down way too many lows that you don't want. You don't want to go up in the Northeast? Fine, you don't have to go up in the Northeast. But if we got a prime load that's going elsewhere, we ain't going to give that to you because you didn't want to go up in the Northeast. You turned down way too many lows up there. You see what I'm saying? So understand this when you go into leasing with a company. Now, lease purchase and leasing is two different things, all right? Lease purchase is your leasing to purchase the truck at the end of the lease. So if you got a 36 month lease and you got the option to own, then yeah, after that lease is up, that truck should be your. Leasing, on the other hand, with a company, you're just basically renting the truck. You know what I'm saying? That don't, that right there don't make no sense to me. You know, why, why rent the truck, right? Why pay them to drive their equipment just to make more money? Which you're not though, when you really think about it. Granted, you paying four, $500 a week for a truck, right? You just, you just paying that, you, you just paying that just to be paying that. You know, it's like, it's it's like, do I have the option to own? Maybe, I don't know. I'm not, mu I'm not much of a lease type of guy. So am I, am I the right person to talk about leasing? Maybe not, maybe not. But I'm just giving you some ideas to see if leasing with a particular company, not just JNR Schwugel, is the right move to make. And really think that 96 cent a mile is, is, is good money for leasing. You gotta pay for the truck. You gotta pay for the fuel. You gotta pay for the ta uh, tax. You gotta pay for the maintenance. Eight, 900. So is that, is that, is, is that good for you? I mean, if you're gonna make that kind of money, you might as well just be a, uh, a company driver. If you think that I'm wrong in that assessment, let me know in the comments below. Definitely let me know in the comments below. I got this comment in one of my videos um, and it's the uh, JNR Swoogle lease video, you know, what I talked about. Uh, it was a comment that was made in, uh, in the video and I want to uh, react to it right quick. Let me just say this, all right? I don't have to come on here to explain myself for any type of decisions that I may have made in order to uh, further my career or better my career for me and my family. I just don't, you know what I'm saying? So if you feel some kind of way about that, hey, I apologize, I apologize, I'm sorry. 
I mean, you know, I was in, I was the ambassador. I was the spokesperson for JNR Swoogle. You know what I'm saying? I did all of that because I enjoyed working there. I liked it, the people there. At least some of the people. But um, it was, it was time. It was time to, uh, it was time to move on. And, you know, I decided to uh, take a opportunity that was that was giving me a better chance to uh, further my career. As you guys already know, I got my tankers this uh, this couple this past couple of months, so I want to take advantage of it. You know what I'm saying? With that said, I am sorry that you feel that way, but you know you got your opinion, and it's and it's perfectly opinionated, I guess. So. With that said, I hope you continue much success to you with JNR Swoogle. Uh, I hope JNR Swoogle continue to treat you well and all like that. Um, I, and I hope JNR Swoogle is the company that you uh, retire from. But as for me, you know what I'm saying? It's hey, I, I have to make a, I have to make moves that's that's that works for me, bro. That's all. That's all it is. All right, I didn't like the camera. I always told you guys, I was not a fan of the camera. Never was a fan of the camera, all right? Some companies, you know, just got outward facing cameras. A lot of company got inward facing cameras. I always say, hey, if you wasn't doing nothing when the camera came on, you're golden. You know what I'm saying? But if you was doing something when the camera came on, best believe you'll get a call from safety okay no matter what you you either get a call from safety or you'll get a satcom message from safety you'll probably get a satcom message first and then call later all right call later because believe me if whatever you did uh while the camera was running you know trust me it's gonna it's gonna watch now let me explain let me give you a little bit of myth about the camera itself. I contracted DriveCam, and they told me the same spiel that everyone is told. Only a critical event record, makes it record. No, it records 24 hours a day, and it's saved to the cam. I said, wait a minute, guy, I got a fleet here, and I want to put drive cams in my fleet. What happens if someone's at home on home time or I'm switching companies and my, you know, my truck might sit somewhere for a month. Don't worry about that. It's recording all the time, he said. He said, as the administrator over the drive cam for your company, you will be issued a special code. And with that special code, you can log in to the website and you can see everything that goes on on that drive cam, front and back. That's the truth about drive cam. You don't gotta believe it, but it's true. Thanks a lot. The camera don't don't run until this an event happens. That is true. It is an event camera. That is true. If the camera, if you hit a chuck hole, you back up hard, you you bump something hard, you hard break or sway or or speeding. The camera going to activate, period, is, is going to activate. The camera is always running, though. You see what I'm saying? It's always running. The camera is always running. How do you think that it catch the information? Think about it. Let me know in the comments below when y'all figure that one out. If you not doing nothing, uh, while the camera's going off, you're golden. You're golden. You don't have no cause for no cause for concern or anything like that. But if you're doing something while the camera is rolling and safety deems it a problem, you best believe you're gonna get that call. This past week, then let's talk about let's talk about this past week. Man, this past week, I got calls from, from a gazillion uh, 
of companies. I, I got call, man, I got calls from Swift, Knight, uh, CSI, CFI, and so forth and so on. Crest, uh, I, I got calls from everybody, but I had to turn them down because I was like, look, I, I'm already good with, with with a company that I that I decided to go to and decided to get this chance with. When you put your name out there, believe me, y'all, you gonna get you you gonna get calls, you gonna get you gonna get bombarded for real, you know, and you just gonna have to like sip through the 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 waters to figure out which one of these companies is good with because when they call you, they gonna they going to they they going to they going to pour on the milk you know what i'm saying well this company is this that and the third this that and the third i don't want to know no but you don't want to know no incentives you know what i'm saying when when the company when the recruiters start talking well you know the safety incentive and this incentive and you get that incentive and all like no 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 I don't want to know none of that. You don't want to know none of that. You don't want to know the incentives and the bonuses and the extra and yada, yada. No, you just want to know your base pay. How much are you making per mile? That's it. Whether it's per diem or base. Now, if it's per diem, then you ask them, what is the base? You see what I'm saying? If it's 45 cent a mile base, then it's 45 cent a mile of how much I'm making. Yeah, so basically when you you when you figuring out what you want to do as far as uh you know uh vetting these companies, make sure you ask all the important questions. Let's get into some good shit. Uh, I went to see Endgame. It's the grand finale, 11 years in the making. We're the Avengers. We gotta finish this. And Avengers Endgame is ending on a high note, blowing away box office records with an historic worldwide debut of $1.2 billion. The records don't stop there. Endgame also boasts the biggest international debut ever. It's the first film to top $300 million domestically on opening weekend. Friday, it marked the biggest single day for any film. And then Saturday and Sunday, you guessed it, biggest Saturday and biggest Sunday ever. We owe this to everyone who's not in this room to try. Yes, yes. If you guys haven't seen that movie, I'm not going to spoil it too much, but it is a tearjerker it is three hours i mean man it's it's a mixture of of a little bit of slow stuff and a little bit of fast pace all right so if you if you if, if you're a fan of the last three avengers movie this movie right here will put everything together and and will tie it up into a nice little knot for you guys enjoyment so if you guys haven't seen the movie definitely see it and whatever you guys do don't see the movie bootleg all right don't see the movie bootleg it won't do it no justice you gotta go and see it on the big screen all right Go to a matinee like I did. I only paid five dollars. So enjoy the show, but as the popular hashtag will tell you, don't spoil the end game. You trust me? I do. Diane Macedo, ABC News, New York. <laughs> to be honest with you, I mean, well, it was five dollars for the ticket and about a couple of dollars for the uh, for the service fee because I went to Fandango and and got my ticket there, but um. If you get a chance, definitely go see it on the big screen. Trust me, you will not be disappointed in that movie, man. Once I'm gone, I ain't coming back nah, nah, You gon' have to settle with another man yeah, yeah. But when you realize, don't be running back oh, Ain't no sunshine 